Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he tells us in Surah Al-Buruj, Wallahu ala kulli shay'in shaheed. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he is aware of every single thing. Really here, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is trying to paint a picture for the companions and for the believers that look at this surah, for them to understand that no matter the situation that they might be going through, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he's aware, he sees it and he is a witness. And a witness, it means that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the day that we all have to answer for this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to bring everything and he's going to be the witness of what happened to us. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brings forth those that were oppressed in this dunya, He's going to be a witness to the oppression that they faced. He's going to be the one that is going to reward them for the patience that they had while they were suffering, while they were being oppressed. You and I, we are unable to bear and to even see what is happening to our brothers and sisters in Gaza and in Sudan and all over the world when we see the plight of the Muslim brothers and sisters. We have to understand that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala without a doubt is aware of what is happening. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his ultimate wisdom decides when to intervene, decides with the qadr that when are things going to be different or how are things going to be carried out. And is there really a reason for the companions radiallahu anhum ajma'een to be reminded of this in Mecca? It is for them to understand that the struggles that they are going through, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he is aware. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows the pains that they are feeling. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows the suffering that they are going through. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also sees the patience that they are demonstrating. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for all of the pains that they went through, Allah will replace it for them on the day of judgment. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows for the patience that they showed, they are going to be rewarded greatly. Now, you and I as believers when we turn to this surah and we see what is actually happening to our brothers and sisters, we also have to have the same feeling. That I know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is aware of everything. Whether it is small things, whether it is major things, whether it is almost 30, 40,000 of our brothers and sisters being killed in Gaza, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ease their situation. Whatever it is, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is aware. And the struggles that they are facing are not going to go on forever. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reward them for the patience that they are showing, for the iman that we are able to see from them. But we always go back to this verse and remind ourselves that even if I think that my situation is so bad, nobody is looking at me, nobody sees what I'm going through, I know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is aware of all of these things. Not only is he aware, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the witness to all of these things that are happening. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the day of judgment, he's going to be on my side when I am going against my oppressor, the one that took my rights. When the children of Gaza stand up on the day of judgment and they're saying, we don't know what the reason that we were killed for is. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to be a witness for them. Nobody's going to be able to come and say, I did not do this thing. I did not participate in this. I did not kill this child. I'm not the one responsible for it. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one that is a witness. So when we see a people struggling, we always have to understand Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also sees this, their suffering. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees the conditions that they're in. And not only that, what better witness can you hope for, can you look for on the day of judgment than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the one whose eyes do not sleep. As the poet, he tells us that do not oppress a person if you have the ability. Because while you go to sleep after oppressing, the oppressed is going to stay up and he's going to make dua against you. And the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala never sleep. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala being your witness on the day of judgment for the rights that were taken away from you, what greater witness do you want on that day? And this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling the companions that no, no matter the situation that you are in, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees it. And you are never going to be mistreated on the day that you stand in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All of your rights are going to be given to you, even if it feels like in this dunya, everything was taken away from you. Jazakumullah khairan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.